Shalom all. How are you today? Hallelujah. I believe that God is blessing you. I would like to continue uh, our topic today, still in the series of heart, which is talking about a merry heart, a happy heart. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to quote from uh, Proverbs 17, verse 22, that says that a merry heart does good like medicine. So when our heart is happy, that's what the Bible say, when our heart is merry, our heart is happy, then it acts like a medicine to our body. Well, this verse, this book of Proverbs was written like over 3,000 years ago, but only a few decades, uh, uh, the last few decades that scientists have proven that when we are happy, then our body will release so-called uh, happy hormones. This happy hormone somehow is giving our body some kind of healing. Well, at least it stops from getting sick, you know, getting sickness coming to our body. So they said that there are these, these, these so-called happy hormones, uh, dopamine, endorphin, serotonin, and also oxytocin. You know, when, when, we feel, when we feel happy, when we achieve something, when we feel appreciated, when we feel respected by others, these happy hormones will be released to our body. And somehow that will give uh, healing, at least protection against sickness in our body. So we need, by, by this, we need to really guard our heart so that our heart will be in the state of happiness or joy always, that it will keep releasing these happy hormones that heals our body, as opposed to those uh, bad hormones like noradrenaline that actually it, 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 it creates even sickness in our body. Well, uh, just think about it. How long has it been that you laugh so hard that you spend time with families or friends and just talk and laugh and being happy how long has it been or maybe how long has it been that that you have been feeling uh, tired most of the time or getting sick every once once in two weeks or one even once in a week that you call in sick you call the office saying that you cannot go to the office because of getting sick how long has it been probably our body get 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 gets tired get tired or get sick uh, quickly because our heart is not in the right state it's not in the state of happiness or joy. But maybe you can say to me, oh, Pastor, I, I cannot be happy all the time. My situation are not always good. My situation are not always uh, 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 supporting my happiness. Well, it is true. In fact, everybody will face good times and bad times. But the thing is, Happiness, like someone says, is a choice, right? We choose to be happy. I read once uh, a book by an author by the name of John C. Maxwell. He's the famous uh, author on or speaker on the topic of leadership. And I forgot the title of the book, but in that book, he was telling a story about uh, his wife, Mrs. John C. Maxwell, Mrs. Maxwell, who who was giving a, a, a speech, you know, a seminar to women. You know, this is like a women's seminar. And then at the time in that book, Mr. Maxwell wrote down that he was not doing anything. So he was accompanying his wife, you know, giving this seminar. And during the question and answer session, and one of the uh, participants of the seminar 
was asking <laughs> Mrs. Maxwell. And the question was, and Mr. Maxwell wrote down that when the question was asked, he was really shocked and even uh, wanted to get out of the room. Because the question was like, was, was like this. Uh, uh, Mrs. Maxwell, I want to ask questions. Yes, you can ask questions. Uh, I want to ask, is Mr. Maxwell <laughs> Uh, making you happy of course mr. Maxwell upon hearing that question thinking what my wife is going to answer to these questions and he was like you know sort of like in the book he, he, he was writing he was like uh, shocked and wanting even to get out of the room not wanting to hear what the, what, what his wife uh, answering to this question and the wife answered this and it was uh, I cannot forget this and she said that well my husband is a good man he's not a drunkard he's not a gambler you know he's not a cheater he's a man of God he's a good man but he does not make me happy and she said I choose to be happy that's what she said and it dawned on me that that is true there are many people there are many husbands who have wives who are good, kind, you know, uh, supportive, but they don't seem to be to look happy. And I see even uh, wives who have husband who are responsibility, even handsome husband, but they don't seem to be happy. And I see some of my friends; they don't have many, but they look happy. You see, happiness is a choice the Bible says so Philippians, Philippians 4, 4 says that Apostle Paul says rejoice always in the Lord I say again rejoice and in 1 Thessalonians 5 18 he says also that we should give thanks in all things in all circumstances how can it be that we should give thanks in all things all things mean good, bad, high, low, ups, downs, more money or less money, accepted or rejected. In all things give thanks. Because that's what God wants from us in Christ Jesus concerning us. That's what the word of God. So we should give thanks in all things. Thankfulness will make our heart can be happy. Gratefulness is a choice to be happy. So we can choose to be happy, not because of our circumstances, but because God loves us and we have faith in Him. Well, this is not just a, a ma just a simple uh, 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 set of mind that we are setting it. I want to be happy. I know it's actually a lifestyle. A lifestyle of what? A lifestyle living in the Word of God. When we are living in the Word of God, we fill our heart, our mind with the Word of God. So our faith arises in us. Our heart is filled with hope and faith in God. That's what makes our heart can be happy all the time. Hallelujah. So guard your heart and have always a happy heart. Because of what? Because happy heart, merry heart does good like medicine. It will heal our body. Hallelujah. God bless you. We'll meet you again in another topic. But remember always that God is good and his faithfulness endures forever. Hallelujah. Amen.